All right, so New York State made history this weekend, and not just because of a record heat wave. Hundreds of couples tied the knot Sunday as the state became the sixth and the largest state in the country to legalize same-sex marriage. Among the first to wed, the mayor's chief policy advisor, John Feinblatt, and the city's commissioner of consumer affairs, Jonathan Mintz. They were partners of 14 years until they made it official. So last week, yes, they were just simple fiancés. Now they are back as a married couple. My, how time flies. Uh, gentlemen, it's good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan, I want to start with you, Jonathan Mintz, John Feinblatt, just to make sure we have everybody established. Uh, some pretty impressive numbers that we saw over the weekend in terms of marital turnout. 659 couples picked up marriage licenses. Uh, eight, 484 actually tied the knot. Uh, so in 17 days, which is what you guys had to plan, that's not too bad. Uh, how did you be able to pull this off because it really looked beautiful without a hitch, right? Well, it was uh, a lot of joy, I have to say, exactly like it looked, I hope. Um, and you mentioned all those other couples. We were at the clerk's office yesterday morning getting our license, and you could not walk down that hallway without bursting into tears. There were so many happy couples who've been waiting decades and decades to do this. So yesterday was just such a huge, huge day. And, and for us, it was uh, the culmination of 17 days of invite lists and caterer meetings and all of that so it was just great and the girls look like they had a great time too it's georgia and Maeve. that's correct? right uh so john mayor bloomberg himself officiating over this ceremony you guys have worked together for a long time he's been a proponent of marriage equality for a long time uh, how does it feel to have a boss like that that's provided such unwavering support and then officiating over your own big day well you know i had the privilege of working with him on the issue of marriage equality and uh his uh support, his trips to Albany, the money he raised in support of marriage equality was just extraordinary. And then to have him officiate at our wedding, it was just like, you know, a full circle. And so it was a, a great feeling to be by his side as we pushed Albany. And it was a great feeling, obviously, to have him officiate it. Couldn't have a better uh, wedding present. Oddly enough, timing uh, is everything. Fifteen years ago this month, the Defense of Marriage Act was passed to define marriage as a union between one man and one woman. Uh, and now we have many people in the public being polled about this the opinion has changed let's take a look because there's been a significant shift in time uh, 53 percent now support same-sex marriage that's up 27 percent from 1996 and 58 percent now accept gay lesbian relationships that's up 14 percent from 1996 Jonathan for you and uh, your opinion now as a married man uh, what do you feel about DOMA still being uh, in place and do you feel that just the repeal of that is gonna happen uh, you know, I think progress always marches in one direction. It's trite, but it's true. Obviously, things are changing. People's opinions are evolving. And, you know, our wedding and so many hundreds of others' weddings yesterday, um, they represent something very traditional and loving, which is just about family. And we're a family like any other. Mm -hmm. And I think across America, people can see that. Um, and. Uh, and so I'm sure that in a very short period of time, this will all look like a strange moment in history when America wasn't sure that people who loved each other should be able to marry. And well, I think we're almost there. Certainly for your daughters, John, I think, who are going to grow up with a different interpretation of what social justice means. Uh, but for them, uh, what did you think this day meant to them yesterday? Well, I, they were over the moon. They had all of their relatives and their cousins around. But I think uh, it meant a lot to them because they knew that their friends' parents were married and that their parents weren't. And, you know, kids have this primitive but pretty sophisticated sense of social justice. And I think for them, um, for Maeve and for Georgia, I think what this really means is that their family is like every other family. And really, that's what America is about, isn't right. it? Right. The great thing about kids is that they're a clean slate to learn about love. And right. they're also a clean slate to learn about hate, unfortunately. Uh, but in this situation, I think they're probably very proud. Now, did they, did they get to go on, on a honeymoon trip? Because you said that they got to pick out the food and the cakes and all that stuff. I would imagine that they're looking at... Uh, Harry Potter Universal Park and, exactly. you know, Disney World. for They are anyone. not about to let us go without them. I'm They've made sure. that absolutely clear. <laughs> well, we have no definite plans right now, right? No, we're going to take a few days off uh, at the end of the week, and then we'll plan something hopefully for the end of the summer. A few days off at the end of the week with my mother-in-law, I would just like to point out. There we go. And, we're, and I just My, my, my mother in actual law. I just found out that, uh, John, you're from Baltimore. That's right. So, of That's course, right. if you're from Baltimore out there, you know you don't ask about where you went to college. It's where did you go to high school? Cool. Absolutely. <laughs> to figure that Absolutely. out. Well, gentlemen, c congratulations once, once again. Uh, Jonathan Mintz, John Fine Black, Thank thanks for sharing your story with us as well. And can tell your daughters, congratulations. Thank too. you they very much. Wonderful.